Well, here we are, boys and girls, seven minutes before the end of the flying solo event, and we finally have our final collect gold to get. There's nothing like cutting it close, is there? So there we go. There is our final item, and there is our beautiful little ice feather dragon. So we did manage to finish it just, just, literally within seven minutes, which is um very cool. So this obviously means that we are not going to have the chance to take part in the Cosmic Creations chain breeding air quotes event. Not that we really intended to do it anyway, and I mean we already have a Cosmos Dragon, so really doesn't matter to us all that much. But since we do have a new dragon, we will pop him into our hatchery, and he'll be done before the new castle event starts. So, you know, whenever you do get new dragons, you never want to put their eggs into your hatchery when you have events going on and at the moment we have pretty much nothing ongoing so there is our little ice feather he will take just over a day to finish hatching and then we will be able to take a look at him so boy oh boy was that event annoying <laughs> but um you know that's what i get for not taking it too seriously at the beginning of the week and then you know having to stay up for most of the night for the remainder of the week that's what i get and of course, on top of that, we do have the Touchdown Dragon as the new Dragon of the Week. And don't forget, the new Dragon of the Month probably will be announced within the next couple of days as well. So we are going to have a new Legendary to look forward to. But for Touchdown here, we have a Dust and Melon Dragon. And the possible results, yeah, we've got the Panda, the Elixir, the Avocado, the Clownfish. Oh, there's tons of random garbage. So let's breed them together. And we got a four-hour breeding time, which is obviously not what we wanted so now we'll leave that for now but now that the event's over it means that we can collect whatever we want which is weird because the entire event it's been like oh let's not put in too many long timers in case we screw up anything no it's all done and dustied for now and there is also a bundle out for the ghost dragon 12 pounds 50 for a ghost dragon and some VIP and 150 gems is super overpriced, in my opinion. Especially since, you know, the ghost is just a jelly dragon. But, um, yeah, I guess it's up to you. It's in the eyes of the beholder at the end of the day, so if you think it's worth it, you go ahead and get it. I personally do not think that it is worth it. So, apart from that, genuinely, I have not been doing all too much in the land of DML. I've obviously been trying to get some more trinkets and stuff like that so that we can eventually enchant Andu to max level but it's a very long grindy and long process so I don't know we do have a clan event on at the moment though so before we do anything else we should probably do this I say that as I've already collected gold and collected my food but let's let's forget about that so we've got mines to conquer we have clan quests to do because let's actually assist our clan mates for a change, shall we? Instead of us just ignoring them and just leaving them to do the event on their own. Yeah, let's try and help. Plus, obviously, we get the clan points for doing it as well. So it's not like it's only for the benefit of the clan. Everything that you do that's clan related is obviously also a benefit to yourself. Which is why it's a good idea that before you do anything at the beginning of your day, you go and check what your clan quests are. I always forget. So again, do what I say, not what I do. It's that simple. Collect 50 dungeon tokens. That's also pretty easy for me because, you know, our dragons can easily handle the dungeon. Obviously, to other people that don't have the right sort of team, these dungeon quests can be a massive pain in the butt cheeks. Plus, the downside of dungeon quests is the fact that they take a super long amount of time in comparison to other fights because, you know, there are two waves of enemies instead of just one. Not that they don't all get one shot anyway, but it's just a, it's like an extra 30 seconds-ish of time that you have to waste doing these and every second counts. Every second that I can shave off and save is going to be, you know, an extra few seconds there. I'm not annoyed at having to do it. So it's all fine and dandarino. 
There they go, they're all infected. We got our next clan quest done, skis. Give me those points. They're beautiful. Beautiful. I hate the breeding quest, so I am not going to do that. And the collecting gold, we can't do that yet. The collecting food. I don't think we have Kronos available, do we? Oh, no, we do. Okay, we'll do that one then. <laughs> it was all planned from the beginning. A hundred percent, definitely. Definitely was not by accident. See what I mean? Pre-planning in this game really does put you far ahead. So we're going to pretend that I pre-planned that so that I don't feel bad. But we can also have a redo for Mr. Touchdown now as well. So, the doom. 12 hours and 47 minutes, not really anything that I care about anyway. Because legitimately, I don't even want anything that that combination can give. I'm just doing it anyway. Obviously, it's one of the dragons on the higher end. So, it's one of the cooler dragons at the end of the day. So, we'll take it. We'll take it. And I guess that's the end of the clan quest that we can really do for now. Because I guess we can do perfect hits. Although I hate doing perfect hits because they're super long. But fine. I'll do it for you, game. Again, I keep t talking about how I want to do it for the clan. And then two seconds later, I'm like, oh, but that's a lot of effort. I really want to do this to help people. But it's a lot of effort. You know, just suck it up, sunshine. Do it. You never do it. So do it today. It's that simple. But, you know, regarding the flying solo event, how did you do it? Did you manage to do it? Did you do it with plenty of days rest? I don't know. It doesn't really matter how quickly you do it. Because whether you do it with multiple days spare or you do it with ten minutes spare... You know, it's the same amount of time that you've invested into the event. It's just maybe the other person didn't miss any sleep. Maybe the other person, I don't know, had things to do. You know, it's just one of the things with this game where you can't really tell how well a person's done in an event because, I mean, everyone plays the game differently. It's like whenever someone asks, what level should my dragons be at this level? Again. It's different for every single player. What if you're someone that has legitimately not done a single fight in 30 levels? What about that, huh? Yeah, in that case, you're probably going to have pretty low level dragons. And what if you haven't been using the farms as well? You know, there's tons of different ways that you can end up at a super high level with super low level dragons or the opposite way around. I think that's sort of a charming thing. Because you never know what to expect going onto someone's island. You might go onto a um, a level 40 player and they'll have like 2 billion boss dragons. And you'll just be like, why? I don't understand. But it's possible. It's definitely possible. And you want us to do more perfect hits? Seriously? You're really going to do this to me? Well, I guess this is a good way of forcing us to do our blue map fights. Without being lazy and just skipping them. So I will do it, game. I will do it for you. I think we also have our Gloom Lady that we might be able to hatch as well. And I mean, I can't see a reason why not to. Because we can either use the Gloom Lady as Ascension Fodder. Or we can use the Gloom Lady as just a, um, look at our cool duplicate event dragon, hee <laughs> hee. Although I do like to save those for hatching events whenever I can. Like, just keeping a surplus of epics, rares, legendaries in your inventory for when you know hatching events are going to be on. That's a pretty good... Or it's a pretty nifty little special way of getting a ton of points in those events so that, you know, it's not a hidden science by any stretch, but, you know, if you have more stuff hoarded up, you're probably going to beat your opponents on average. That's how everyone wins in the gold spending events and food spending events because they just hoard and hoard and hoard food and gold for like months and then they'll wait for the one event that has the dragon that they want and then they'll just go on a spending spree and then they'll have like 200 billion food spent. 
You know, I, I, I can't really do that. If I just have the food there, I'm so tempted to spend it on something. Or use the food on a dragon and spend the gold on something. It's like I always want more food. So all my gold goes into buying food. It's just an endless cycle, to be honest with you. Absolutely endless. Alright, give us some nice quests. You're gonna do it? Collect food? Okay, that's another nice quest. You're giving us some easy boys now. Score more perfect. Oh, that's too much effort. I can't be bothered. I'm gonna be frank. I cannot be bothered to do that right now. So, let's collect our food. And then we'll pop in our spring cherries. Our exploration's finished, so we'll see if we can pop anything else in here as well. Gems, gems, gems. Okay, that's a regular chest. Not gonna happen. Now just some gold and some food. Blag. How boring. Well, anyway. I think that is gonna do us for now. So at the moment we are completely event free in the land of DML. So enjoy a little bit of respite. Obviously we're gonna be getting the new update very soon. So look forward to that. But, again, let me know if you managed to get the Ice Feather yourself and whether you managed to somehow have enough time and enough luck to breed that Cosmos Dragon because I assure you probably not that many people have bothered to get him. But for now, thank you for joining me and until next time, I will see you then.